I am here at MC Perry High School Iwakuni for the 2018 Far East Journalism Conference. This conference consists of three disciplines, yearbook, broadcast, and newspaper. Join me as I get student and teacher perspectives on this event. A yearbook's main purpose is to capture life in the eyes of a student. It serves as a time capsule for important times past. We are here at the 2018 Far East Journalism Conference, where yearbook students are assigned a page on student life. I'm here at Miyajima because I'm in yearbook and my group is documenting students first time at Far East. So we're going around taking pictures of students like experiencing the island for the first time. We chose Miyajima because I've actually been here last year and out of the places we had to choose, I felt like this was the best to get the most. So I feel like we could capture a lot of culture and people from other places could experience a lot more new things here rather than the other places. One of the main differences here is the deer. They're super cute. They just like come up to you. You can literally pet them. They're usually pretty friendly. And yeah, that's new to me at least because where I'm from, we definitely don't have that. Um, what contributed to our success was definitely our class on InDesign because at my school we do not use InDesign. In the end, I think InDesign makes everything come together better and look nicer. And also, we took a Photoshop class. I have Photoshop at my school, but here we just went a little more in depth. So I think that really helped us. Our story actually turned out really great. Um, the student life really came together in the end, and me and Jima and all the photos really contributed to the success of our school. One of Dodea's newest initiatives is College Career Readiness. Tonight we got a chance to speak with student Jalen Dowdell about how his Far East journalism experience has prepared him for his future beyond high school. He traveled all the way from Guam in hopes to pursue a career in journalism. What is your role in your group? Uh, my role in my group, I am the reporter in my group, and I'm very happy with my role. It's a fun role. I get to come out here and uh, work in the field and just be, you know, uh, really hands-on with my pieces that I'm doing. So it's a really fun experience. Why did you apply for Far East Journalism? Why I applied is to strengthen my skills. I know coming out here, I'd have a lot more opportunities to become better and just become a better journalist as a whole. What do you hope to learn and accomplish from Far East Journalism? Well, what I hope to learn is what I think everybody should hope to learn is new skills that you can bring back to your school in order to make your school better. And then new skills that you can take and make yourself better so if you want to pursue a career in journalism that you can have these skills going into it. Can you further explain what skills you're talking about? Uh, skills such as talking, being able to talk in front of the camera, being comfortable, um, knowing what to do uh, with your hands and stuff, especially out reporting. Uh, knowing how to keep your composure and how to ask the hard questions and really find the truth in a piece. Have you considered a career in journalism? I have, definitely, of course. Uh, I wouldn't be out here if I really did it, but uh, I think journalism is something that everybody should at least look into because it is a fascinating career and you can find a lot of opportunities here. Has far as journalism influenced that decision? Uh, of course, you know, I, I've done a lot of things out here and I'm, I've, uh, I've seen a lot of people and I've learned a lot of things so far that have made me really think and uh, think hard about what I want to do as a future yeah, as a future career and journalism is one of those things that I'm thinking about now. We give them the building blocks that they can use to help make their stories better, not just here, not just for their projects here, not just for turning out winning newspapers or champion yearbooks or award-winning broadcast segments, but what they take with them into the future, back to their schools, back to their school paper, back to their daily announcements, understanding what a news conference is and how it works. Now, that's what I would like for them to take away from today, from, from the here and now. Something that if they do go into broadcast media, that they'll know what to do in the future. I am here at the 2018 Far East Journalism Conference, 
where aspiring journalists are here at the breaking news press conference. They will be covering Kai Lang's signing for a national letter of intent to the University of the Pacific, California. These students, prepared by their teachers and industry professionals, have gathered useful reportage by way of questions. Let's see what their advisors have to say. There are a couple things I really want my kids to take away. One, I want them to learn uh, to work with other people. That's really important. Collaboration is the most important thing I think people can do. Right? I want them to hone their skills to get better at what they do. And I want them, usually when kids come to this kind of an event, they meet people and their passion for journalism is kindled. And that's what I want to see. The classes definitely help strengthen my skills. And that combined with going out and doing real reporting and real journalism, like with the Kai event, it definitely helped me understand a little bit more about reporting. I'm here with my photographer for the group because uh, our big page story for the front page of the newspaper is going to be um, Mr. Lang's son signing of the National Letter of Intent. I honestly think this whole thing is a learning experience. It's just like a lot of learning how to, I think it's a good thing to learn how to speak out, to, you know, to, to talk to people and to like not be so shy and to, to learn new things from other people. Uh, I think the tough thing, you know, it's tough to not be around like the people you're used to, like team like the team like you came from with and to just like learn how to work with other people to work with other people with different ideas from other schools as you can see dodea is hard at work instilling college and career ready practices in their students clear and effective communication working productively in teams while using cultural and global competence and planning education and career paths aligned to their personal goals this is Zoe Sisuiko for Far East Press Corps, bringing you the Dodea Blueprint for Success.